punctuation you will ever encounter. But it's actually not that hard. So, for example, in this sentence, you add commas in between the descriptions of the item and then the semicolon after the item so that your sentence starts to make sense. Excuse me. Excuse me. I uh, really like your hair. Can I have some? Um, sorry, no, that's not what I meant. I just, it looks pretty on, I just meant, it looks, um, it looks, ah, uh, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. What's your name? Leo. You're home, right? I don't like it when you don't answer me. Yes, Mom. There you are. You should talk to us more. You're getting quieter and quieter these days. You should get out more instead of spending your whole life in your room. You'll never get a girlfriend at this rate, eh? Eh? Thanks, Dad. It'll be your own fault, too. You just sit in your room, reading books. Yeah, but now we don't have to worry about that. What? Gerald. Sorry. We got rid of your books. What? Leo. Leo! They're only books. You're overreacting. You know we only do these things because we love you. You don't have to. Science of emotion in the mind. Human anatomy and biology. You read these for fun? Uh, yeah. Hey, I've been really struggling with science and I could use a hand with studying. Would you like to help me? Uh, sure, I can try to. Help. Great, we can meet in the library after school. Good, I'll see you then. Kick off your new boots, hit and run. We're heading southwards to the sun.
You want... what? It's just a suggestion. I... just like something to remember you by a break. Oh. Well, I don't really want to part with it. <laughs> That's fine, I just... I've done so much for you, a little something to remember you by shouldn't be too much to ask for. Especially since we have such a special relationship. Oh. Well, you don't think that we have, like... You don't think that we're... I've done so much for you, and... Put so much effort into... You don't understand. You owe me. What? I don't owe you anything. That's not how this works. Leo? Leo, wait, can we just... I'm sorry to startle you. How did you get in here? The front door was unlocked, and I knew you had to be up here. And I just really need to talk to you. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've done something wrong. Maybe I took you for granted. I don't know, but... I've been really worried about you. What? What is that? Helena, I can explain. It's not that I... I don't have to keep it if you want. I, I, it's not important to me. I... I can throw it out. I only did it because I love... I love you. No.